Yo, what's up, guys? How are you doing? The news has been out already that the Netflix Marvel shows are going to be on Disney Plus. So, as of March the 16th, we can enjoy um, Daredevil, The Punisher, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, and The Defenders on Disney Plus, which is pretty cool. Like over here, I, where I live, uh, all the streaming services that are out right now, I have a subscription, so it doesn't really matter where they are, but it's nice to have them all at the same spot. Uh, under like the marvel banner on disney plus which is pretty chill um business wise as well i can really understand uh, disney marvel wanting to have all their like stuff at one spot so yeah that's pretty chill but like that got me thinking a little bit about um could these shows make a return on disney plus and um why did they stop initially because some of these show like not some but all I think stopped pretty abruptly, uh, especially with Daredevil, um, which uh, had like a like a pretty cool uh, like ending to season three. Um, Luke Cage for me as well had a pretty uh, pretty good cliffhanger, <laughs> um, but like all shows were pretty uh, pretty fun. The least favorite for me personally was Iron Fist and the Defenders. Didn't really care that much. Didn't think the the, the, the characters were that cool. Um, wasn't really that infested but my top three are like daredevil the punisher and luke cage really thought those three shows at least those three deserved more than what they got um but i think in a recent uh interview um and i forget the name and i always butcher the name though but it's um vincent d'onofrio wilson fisk or the kingpin um basically said that it was because of disney plus uh, i think coming out or something like that they they just canceled the shows and um kind of understand that because they would like disney marvel were expanding their movies into shows and uh, everything that fits in that narrative and in that universe like the mcu which is pretty um, logical like one division fits perfectly in there low-key uh the falcon and the winter soldier all like really really awesome shows um got to say <laughs> that uh i haven't seen hawkeye yet it's like i don't really have an urge i don't like hawkeye is for me not that interesting as the character but i am gonna watch it pretty soon have some time for it now um so yeah even though it's may like might not be my favorite character i'm still gonna watch it just to see what happens and everything but um like with that being said i did get some spoilers though for uh for the show and for um i haven't seen also i haven't seen uh spider-man uh, no way home because of uh world stuff going around but um also got a little spoiler for that so if you don't want to hear it i'm sorry here's a little spoiler i'll probably like uh clap my hands when it's over but um we see matt murdoch daredevil in spider-man no way home and we see um wilson fisk in hawkeye spoilers over but <laughs> you know that just kind of makes me really think are we gonna get like a reboot of these shows are we gonna get new seasons from these shows um do i think like these shows fit within the disney plus um marvel uh, like umbrella that they started creating um because the shows were pretty and that's what i liked about the shows especially like daredevil and the punisher these shows were pretty um like they were darker they were grittier they were more like down to earth and more i don't know in a way more violent maybe that's stupid to say but more violent in a little bit more realistic kind of way i guess i know it's not realistic though but the way we see um like the, the the famous fight scene from daredevil where he just beats everybody up um i think if you're maybe the fittest dude ever you you might be able to do, do that i'm not sure <laughs> i wouldn't be able to but also the second season punisher the the big fight scene in the prison which is really well done i really like how that looked then it's just like how down to earth that all feels it just feels like real people fighting instead of uh, instead of the insane um 
gods like Thor and everything fighting, or like even Spider Man with his with his power and abilities and everything, which is like also really love it. Though Spider Man, one of my favorites, but you know, um, it's it's something really cool though. But does it fit between um, the, the Marvel shows we have right now and? It might not fit that well, though. There was an interview with Charlie Cox, I think, basically said that a PG-13 rating would work for Daredevil, but it's best with the, I think, R rating it has right now. Um, so I kind of agree with that, though. I, I, I do think if we are going to see something back, the, the biggest question for me is, is it going to be a continuation of what we have? Or are they going to somehow just like disregard that and um, give it like a reboot or like a soft reboot with um, with a soft reboot, like them just picking some parts from what they had and continuing on that and the rest just maybe um, throwing it away. I'm not sure. I, I rather see like a new season instead of like a reboot or like a soft reboot. Um, and I do think if if they would do it, um, they should definitely do it for Daredevil. Uh, my personal opinion would be The Punisher as well, because I think that show is, I don't know, like the character as well. Uh, it's it's different. It's really well done. And also, I think that like Charlie Cox, who plays Daredevil. Yes. Uh, John Bernthal, who plays um, uh, Frank Castle, The Punisher that's an amazing cast right there like that's like it seems too perfect to be honest like he's in my mind a really good punisher the other marvel shows like like luke cage even though i wish luke cage would at least get like one more season because i just want to see where that goes uh, like how it ended i don't really want to spoil it though but i really want to see how that goes uh, for me, Jessica Jones, uh, Iron Fist and Defenders, I don't really care that much about like what happens anymore with those shows. Uh, I'm just going to be honest. But I think that like Daredevil, like an iconic character, they tried though with, with the Ben Affleck Daredevil and that really didn't work out though. At least I think so. Um, but like the, 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 the show on Netflix, from Netflix, so like was really really well done and um i could watch more as long as it's r-rated which i think could be really possible though i i know um they're going like a sort of way with with marvel disney wants to go like a sort of way with marvel and everything i don't think they should just limit it to that i think people that have seen daredevil i don't know might be disappointed if it's going to be like a pg-13 rating it's going to be toned down and not as gritty as it as it was though um there were some like like rumors um, might be rumors might be like fake fake shit as well i'm not sure but there's like um uh, somebody said there's a new marvel studio new llc like blind fate productions uh llc which could mean working on a new project for daredevil or at least working on a daredevil project which um I kind of do want to believe, you know, and also like um, uh, Charlie Cox talking about it recently. And I think uh, Vincent D'Onofrio talking about it. I got it right, though. I didn't even didn't even look at the name. I got it right. <laughs> but that, like them talking about the, like Daredevil and um, um, I like I also think they were not done with the show yet. I think we can get more out of it. Also, like Deadpool is on Disney Plus, which is R-rated as well. And I know they had to fight to get Deadpool R-rated, um, but damn, those movies are great. I also think like that's partly because of the magic Ryan Reynolds does with the part. Um, a really good actor, but yeah, I don't know, man. I like, do I think this could happen? Yes, definitely. Um, especially for like Daredevil and and might even be the punisher the other shows not too sure but yeah like i, I don't know if i'm gonna rewatch it uh like right away when it comes out i'm just waiting for moon knight right now which um i don't I, like i don't know a lot about moon knight i'm not gonna lie about it but what i've seen so far and everything i think it's gonna be an awesome show um really like the actor as well like the trailer with with with, the, with how chaotic it was and everything really cool really well done and yeah i don't know man i just like um i do have some hopes for the marvel netflix shows 
so we'll just have to wait and see um if you like this video leave a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you on the next video have a good day bye bye